little bit about. Usually I say, what is for prick? Um, that one girl. He says sprint, but I say prick. Okay, here we go. Nova and the Queen of Blades on the field once again. This time. Different oppositions. Everything is expensive again, yep. I prestige my commander. Everything is expensive again. Kinda boring without him. Where it was, whether it was the first girlfriend, the first time you fell in love, the first time you were married, the only time you were married. Uh, we're gonna talk about that girl, and and here's why. Because at some point in all of our lives, there was that one girl that we fell in love with. That when she left, she took a big chunk of our heart with her. Oh, oh. left us wondering what could I have done better. Whether it was, I wish I was Brace taller, yourselves. I wish Enemy I had more muscle, maybe something we weren't in control of, or I wish I had more money, or she like, left me for I'm doing it right now, trying to chase one, and she's always playing around. Always ghosting for a couple of days at best, maybe a week, and after a week she will reply, which is hilarious. Kills all the fun and, and any desire to play, responding after a week. Ridiculous. Time to play defense. Your efforts are futile. No offense, man. Mm -hmm. of modern technology will make it happen. Say again. Oh, no steam pack. You kidding me? Not enough minerals. Confirm that last. Status report. Our allies are being attacked. Acknowledged. Opening fire. Nova here. Say again. The Zenith stones near the temple have become unstable. It may be wise to dispose of them. Three. Our allies are being attacked. Executed. Upgrade complete. What's going on? Yeah, whatever. SCV ready. I'm reading you. Who wants some? Sure thing. Break. Seems like we can use a defensive drone. Hybrid signature detected. Hybrid. Do not let them survive. The temple is beginning to destroy my bloody long before it activates itself. Our allies you have successfully shattered the Zenith Stone. Two more await you. Executed. I'll make it happen. Got it. Status report. Say again. Nova here. Ghost reporting. Give me the sit rep. Go ahead. Poor Funches. Minerals. This better be good. 
Upgrade complete. Over here. No music. Older or younger, something that was out of our control. But at one point or another, that happened to all of us. And when you Not think, well, if I only had whatever, she would have stayed with me. Minerals. Well, it's kind of not a hard thing, minerals. because it's not something you can really change. And then the question is, Confirm well, what would you have given up to keep her? Would you have given up her job? Would you have relocated for her, which some of us have done? Or would you have stopped talking with friends or hanging out with friends as much? What would you have done to keep her? I'll make it happen. How about... Would you have ever given up being a prince to keep her? I have a story here with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And I, I'm not going to go too deep down into the, their story because I don't care about that. I don't care about the royals. That's just not my thing. I'm not a teenage girl. But Confirm that the point last. of it is that she, Sabotage Meghan Markle, legit married to the So many times women say, I want to be treated like a princess, and I want this great guy, and so on and so forth. Well, she got him. He's six two. He's all right looking. He's got lots of money, and she's straight up running this guy into the ground, and she's making him pretty much step away from being a prince and moving with her back to North America. Can you imagine being one of the greatest guys in the world, as far as? money and power and being a, like a, a genuine prince and that's still not being good enough for that last so i'm going to read through just a couple of i'm going to take like two minutes and explain what she's idea. done to this poor guy and then we're going to talk a little bit more about uh about another situation that we're about. so this bright bar article says woke royals harry and megan step back from no, bricks in life um, he's now he's kind of conservative and laid back. I mean, the British are very reserved, and she's out there dragging him through mud all over the place. Uh, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, informally um, known as Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, have announced their transition to a progressive new role in 2020. A statement released by Buckingham Palace. Uh, the rumor that other senior royals do not get along with woke Princess Meghan has never been confirmed. Okay. Prince Harry has uh, been, said, been seen to have drifted from his family since marrying Hollywood actress and divorcee Meghan Markle in 2018. So they go on to say basically that that she's not doing really good in the in the arena of politics and and playing nice Defense with others. And she makes several speeches regarding. Uh, Kind of the, you know, kind of the far progressive narrative, and that the, the royals aren't exactly happy with. It. Now, I think the real reason that she's leaving is because the tabloids pay attention to every dime they spend, and this is important, okay? Because if you look at if you look at uh, this title here, Harry and Meghan stepping down as, as senior royals moved to Canada. Meghan Markle's net worth was around five million. Thanks for the intel. Okay, before she got married to. Him. So she's a movie star. Five cool. million is good money. Certainly a lot more than I'll ever see. But it's not mega rich Hollywood money. So if you look at uh, his value. They estimate his chunk of the change of the, of the Royals family to 40 million. So here, Meghan Markle splashed 285,000 on 16 outfits since meeting him. Harry and Meghan's lavish spending spree continues. They've already spent 4.4 million on the festival money and like a renovation to Son for guns. spending is costing the Palace of Fortune and causing royal uproar. Meghan Markle racked up a million in clothing costs since becoming a royal. Royal expensive part of Meghan Markle's baby shower included 430,000, uh, including 75,000 a night venue and 125k private jet. But remember, they're also gonna. She's also really big into uh, yelling at everybody. Right? But even here, they they go on to say that they've taken two private jets in just one week while uh, purporting while preaching about the purported terrorism in this face. This is the face of a guy that's way in over his head. And the reason why I have the title card is if you've ever heard of the story of the scorpion and the frog, you know this dude's a frog. And he's getting stung. And she is dragging him down. If you guys aren't familiar with that story, Google or web search. Web search uh, scorpion and the frog. It's a really interesting story. And it has a lot to do with the manosphere and trusting too much when you shouldn't.
Yes, so, I see it. Let's you know, here we've got this defense. prince that's getting kind Status of dragged report. through the coals, and now he's giving up being a prince to move back to Hollywood, so she can probably be with the elite in El I mean, they're supposedly moving detected. to Canada, but I, I bet What's there's going to be some trips and some parties and so on and so forth with uh, the prince on her arm going to some L.A. or some New York or some, maybe some Toronto, some you know, Vancouver, some functions to be in the social damage. life. The other thing is, let's say you say, okay, well, that's about being a prince and money, but what about looks? I don't know if you know who this is, but this is uh, Lisa Bonet. And on her arm, or on, on his arm, with her, uh, of course, this is Lenny Kravitz. Big rock star, worth lots of money, very popular, very famous. Now imagine this, this is your guy, or you're him, and this is your wife, right? And you think, I got it all. I'm happy, things are going well, and oops, Jason Momoa steps into the picture. And now, Lisa Bonet is divorced from him and married to Jason Momoa. Now, the, it may have happened several years apart. But my point being that even if you're Lenny Kravitz, or you're some other Hollywood star and you think everything's good, there's always another guy, taller, better looking, more muscles, more money, whatever, and she's going to swing her way over the place. So even if you didn't get that girl to stick around through your life, and she left you for somebody else, and you're wishing you if you'd just done X, Y, or Z, whatever it is, better, or it was a little different, or you had no money, or whatever it was, even if you had those things, she might not have left you for the guy that she did, but at some point, she probably would have left you for another guy anyway. And like I say in all things, this isn't all women. Nothing I say is all inclusive, and there may be good women out there, but it's like finding a needle in a haystack. And at a certain point, the look's just not worth it anymore, especially when you see things like this happening all the time, whether it's Hollywood stars, whether it's a, like a legitimate prince, whether it's somebody else. It happens to everybody, it seems. And so the best way is just kind of hang back, watch it all happen, and not get involved. And if you do keep get involved, like we say many times, keep it short, keep it simple, and that way you keep yourself out of trouble. I'm going to keep it, uh, leave it off there for you guys. If you like my work, you can support me below. Links to PayPal and BitChute. And of course, check out my other channel, The Unknown Adventure, which is my travel channel. I've got a couple videos out there. I'll have a few more up soon, and then there's going to be a ton once I get my bus done here in another month or two, there's going to be a ton of videos over there from when I'm on the road. And hopefully I'll make it all the way up to Alaska this summer and work my way down to South America. You can also join me on Instagram as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And I appreciate everything you guys do for me every day. Guys, this is Better Bachelor. I'm Joker. And we'll talk to you real soon. Status Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for TV and a voice for radio. I got you on that. One, didn't I? You know, I've been doing lots of stories, and I wanted to do a feel-good story. And so I've got actually three about men being awesome. And it shouldn't take too long, but you know, so often we hear that. Men are this, men are that, negative, 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 and we don't get to see too many awesome stories. And some of these are a little bit older, but they're just ones that I came across and I tucked them aside until I had a few of them to share with you guys. But I'd like more, I'd like to see more stories like this, but it doesn't go with the narrative of kind of what's trying to be pushed today. But I'm going to read through these stories and, and let you learn a little, little bit, a little bit about three awesome guys. Uh, number one, the first one, South Carolina officer comes to aid of the 13 year old. Sumter police officer uh, Gaetano uh, Acera went above and beyond the call of duty for Cameron Simmons. Uh, Sumter, South Carolina police officer recently went above and beyond the call of duty for a 13 year old boy. Last month, Cameron called police because he was upset after fighting with his mother and didn't want to leave the house. He didn't want to live in the house with his family. The officer showed up and tried to uh, talk to him, or responded to the call and talked to him. I said, you have it good, you have a roof over your head. Uh, I said, I told the news station. I told him I would try to help him out, and here we are now. The officer uh, brought him home, but soon realized some of the boy's hardships. 
Simmons didn't even have a real Keep bed or furniture for his bedroom. Sure My heart went out soon. for him. I thought the little things that he needed I could give him to Several make him a happier kid. Look, if you can't afford children, don't have island. children. Don't have children, please. My God. A few weeks after the call, the officer showed up at Simmons' home with a truck full of gifts, including a bed, a TV, a desk, a chair, and a Wii game system that someone donated after hearing the boy's story. Simmons, who was sleeping on an inflatable mattress, told Asera that because of his new bed, his back won't hurt anymore and he's great for three days. Asera gave the boy his cell phone number and plans to bring him more furniture, including a dresser and a mirror. WIS TV tracked down the officer and the boy after seeing the photo of the two that Asera, that Asera's older brother, Ferdinando, posted on Facebook. I didn't do this for the publicity or to get people to notice me, Sarah said. I did it because I could. It oh, it's going to, to be heavy, all right? People should do things like this. And I agree. Well, there's just not we'll enough about stories like this, and I think there's a lot of men that do wonderful things, and they don't get enough coverage. You know, we always get the national coverage of news of bad things, but we never get any national of the good things. Drone online. I've got another one here, and this is from, I uh, think, just this past, past uh, year. If I grab the right story, then I missed it. Uh, Michigan hunters donate record amount of venison to people in need. Hunters have already donated more venison than the previous year, and the year isn't even over yet. So a lot of people don't like hunters. And I don't understand that because even people that eat meat don't like hunters. They say it's cruel. But I don't know about you, but meat has to come from somewhere. And whether it's from the from a uh, hunting or whether it's from, you know, a slaughterhouse. Either way, the meat's got to come from somewhere. Either way, the animal goes down. Well, when people like to hunt for sport, they use the meat most often. Every hunter I know has used the meat for their own family. Case in point, I've, I've hunted up in upstate New York, and you could get a 300-pound buck. By the time you strip it and get it down in the fridge, you've got meat for the season. Now, oftentimes, you'll give it to family members as well because there's a lot you just can't get to, even if you put it in a deep that freezer at zero degrees Fahrenheit. The temple is under or, attack. I guess that would be zero, zero degrees Celsius. Um, anyway, so here's a story uh, regarding the hunters went out and they had extra venison, so they donated. Every year, Michigan hunters donate thousands of pounds of venison to uh, processors that partner with Michigan Sportsmen, Sportsmen Against Hunger. The meat is then distributed to families and individuals in need. In 2019, hunters have donated a record amount of venison, surpassing last year's total and reaching highest total on record, which was 52,000 pounds of meat for free to be hungry. And the reason why I include this story is because most men tend to be hunters. Uh, yes, there are winter women hunters as well, but statistically, it's a very small amount proportionately. So I thought this was a really great story where here guys are enjoying something that they enjoy doing so i thought it would very powerful story because it's a it's a an lot instance where again guys grits. are doing something they love so there's a product from them time. that they can't necessarily do something with and instead of being wasted